Hi guys, so this is a separate um, review of the Dior Air Flash. I had quite a few requests to do sort of uh, a review of, of just, oh, Lord, Lord help me today. I've shot so many videos, I really don't even know if I'm coming or going. So there are a lot of requests for me to do a separate uh, review of this product as sort of a standalone and um, I'm sure I rambled on and on about it in a haul video so I'm not sure what new stuff I can cover. Um, basically just to reiterate I love love loved the Guerlain spray bronzer. The finish of that, I thought it was a bit of a hype, these sort of spray things, but dang dung it, was that ever amazing. A flawless, flawless finish. So I thought, well, maybe it'll work with the foundation. I've never used one of these spray foundations. And uh, Dior, I believe, was the only one that I sort of came across. I'm sure there's other ones, but um, this was at Sephora. It's $58 Canadian. I'm not sure how much it is um, American, but you can get it at Sephora and then obviously at any Dior counter in a department store. I have the shade 301, I believe everything that ends in a 1 is sort of yellow and then things that end in a 0 or pink or maybe 2 is pink and 1 is neutral, um, it's the, the last number that kind of um, denotes what undertone it is. So for those of us who are yellow, you go for the 1. And um, there is 70 mils, 2.3 fluid ounces. <coughs> I would say I'm maybe halfway there and I've used this every single day because right now the way my schedule is I don't I have basically eight or nine minutes to uh, do my face hair everything and be out the door um, because I don't want to have to get up at five in the morning I'm already getting up pretty darn early at about six something in the morning and I just can't be bothered um, with uh, putting on full face, all that sort of stuff. So <clears throat> for me, this really, really works because it's that fast and I don't have any blending to do. The only thing I have to do is I have to use my Real Techniques brush just in there. Because when I spray it on, I do get sort of like demarcation and crinklings there because I'm kind of doing this, kind of squinting and closing my eyes. Um, I can't really do a demonstration, obviously, because I wouldn't know where the hell uh, I'm doing it, and right now I've already got uh, makeup on, but literally it's this, right in the center. I don't even know what I'm doing. There's uh, Every day I'm sure it's different because I can't see what I'm doing, so I just kind of feel around sort of the center of my face, and I just do that one spritz, and that's it. I don't need to cover the rest of my face. My problem area is sort of here, and then the rest is just fine. So um, for that reason, I love it because I use so little of it. If you were to do like a full, full, full face, I'm pretty sure you probably have to towel up your hair or, you know, it might get into your hairline. I've been asked that question for me. It doesn't because I literally just spray in the center of my face and that's it. And I don't touch it. I just sort of do this around the eye and that's it. And I just leave it and then three minutes to do the rest of the stuff and I'm out and I feel like I've got good coverage. Um, so again, if you're using it for like a full face, I'm pretty sure the finish is beyond flawless. I mean, it would just look amazing. Um, just because of those little particles just landing, you really do get that airbrush finish, but I don't use that much of it. So um, it's hard for me to say. Um, I think it'd be too messy for me, quite frankly, that'd be a bit too much. But for those of you who don't mind going through the rigmarole, certainly in my 20s, I spent two hours. I mean, I just would take my grand old time and I just loved, you know, the whole ritual of it. 20 something years later, I'm like, oh my God, I need to be done in like five minutes. So, um, in that way, you know, super, super quick. It feels very light. The coverage is medium. Obviously, it can go really, really full. Um, I wouldn't say it goes super, super sheer. It's definitely more than a tinted moisturizer, but just that one thing just gives me enough sort of coverage, but it looks natural. Um, the finish would be satiny. It's not super, super dewy. It's definitely not matte. I can't do mattes. So um, the fragrance, uh, there is a bit of a fra fragrance. It's not really overwhelming or anything. So um, I think that about covers it. My battery is just about to die. So if I've missed anything, I really, really apologize. But again, I've spoken about it beforehand. I'm sorry I can't give you a demonstration. This channel is review only. 
maybe one day, but I highly, highly doubt it. Um, this is just straight to help you guys save your monies when you can and spend it when you should or shouldn't. So um, anyways, I hope you found that helpful. And if you have any other questions that I've forgotten, um, let me know and maybe I can add it as a, an annotation. I'll see you soon, guys.